Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brochelt and in this video I want to talk about Power Apps and Excel. In previous videos we have already talked about the Microsoft Power Platform, the low-code, no-code platform that spans across Office 365 and lots of other um, application. Power Platform contains out of Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power Virtual Agents. And in previous videos we have talked about how to integrate um, Power Automate with um, SAP. We talked about the native SAP connector that connects to RFCs and BAPIs. We talked about um, how Power Automate can be used to connect to OData services using a custom connector and stuff like that. In this video, I want to talk how to um, connect Power Apps into Excel and actually show like in, in previous videos that when the Excel sheet has content from an SAP system, for example, coming from, from OData, that we can also now surface this SAP data in Power Apps via Microsoft Excel. So the scenario would, will look something like this. Um, we will have Microsoft Excel connected via OData to an SAP system. So obviously this data could come from an SAP Fiori um, user interface. It could come from an SAP gateway service that exposes OData services. It could be a CDS view or something like that. The, the important thing is that we have an OData service and without writing one single line of code, we can get now the SAP data into Excel. So once that is done, we'll take this Excel sheet and build a Power App on top of this so that the users can easily access the SAP data in a native application from SAP. Obviously, this is not there to replace the SAP connector or also to replace the native Power Automate um, connector that allows you to consume more data services. It's really about business users that already have data in Excel and now they want to expose and make this data available to others, for example, via a native application. So let's take a look. As a starting point, we have our Microsoft Excel sheet with the data already connected from the SAP system. So if I click on Refresh All, you can see that we're connecting to the OData service on the SAP side. We are retrieving the data from this product list and yeah, now we have loaded 132 um, rows in our Excel sheet. Now, before we save or hand over this file to Power Automate, it's important to enter a table name for this specific table here. With this, we're all done and we can switch over to Power Apps. In Power Apps, I click on Create and I can select um, Start from Data Excel Online. So I, I already have some data prepared in Excel, as you saw. And that will be my starting point. So I select Excel. And after a few seconds, I can select the Excel file, which is running on my OneDrive. Okay, the Excel sheet is open and, and we can see that there is a table, SAP products, which I can connect to from my Power App. Now what Power App is doing, it is um, analyzing the content of this table and trying to generate a first simple application out of this. So again, without writing one single line of code now, I have a Power App in a second that accesses my um, Excel file, which hosts all the data um, from my um, product table from the SAP system. So without doing anything, I can just click on the preview button here and we have a working application that um, returns some data from Excel. So obviously this data doesn't really make a lot of sense in, in this order. So what I can simply do, I can just access the fields. So for example, this accessory fields here, and I can see that it's coming from this item.category. Now I don't want the category to be displayed. I wanna display the name. And actually if I start typing, you can see it already looks up all the available fields. So I can just select name. So I can to do the next thing with the, with the next line. So instead of the currency code, what I probably want to do is the category here. So I again start typing and I can select the category field. And finally, what probably makes a lot of sense is to have the description here. So instead of um, the depth, we'll just change this to description and that's it. So let's try out this app again. Let's just um, click on the preview button and you can see this is 
the working app. So I have now all the information. I have um, the name, I have the category, I have the description. I can even search in this application. And for example, if I select one of these items, the notebook 17, I can get um, a lot of more information, a lot of, a lot of more details. Obviously, I could again rearrange all this kind of stuff, but but now my very, very simple basic app is, is up and running. Obviously, I can also navigate here directly in the user interface in the um, maker um, screen here, but I think that, that's perfectly fine. So what I'll now, what I want to do is I want to share this with my colleagues. So I can just go to file and save this power app. So I'll just give it a name here, SAP Data Excel and I can click on save. Now this Power App is saved and an access URL is generated. So I click here on share and now I could give access to my colleagues um, to, this, to this Power App. I could invite them to actually have permission to access the Power App and with this obviously also um, my Excel file. So in this screen, I would just add a few colleagues. I'll skip this step, so I'll click on cancel here. But what is interesting here to, to test is um, there's also the web link. So I'll just copy and paste this web link into a browser and open this Power App um, like an end user would do in the browser. The beautiful thing here is, yes, this, this Power App is running in the browser, but it would also run on a mobile app. There's a Power App player in the on, on Android and, and iOS that you could start where you would also see this application and then you could um, just navigate and, and use it um, like any other native app on your mobile device. So here, like before, I can browse through this, I can search for certain functions, and I can also drill down into um, some of the items and get some details for them. Okay, I hope this demo showed you how, how easy it actually again is to use Power Apps to connect to an Excel service, and then from there basically connect to um, OData services from, from an SAP system. If you want to do this on your own, then I would recommend check out the first Excel and OData integration video that we published on, on YouTube here. Then you can check out the aka.ms-lowcode um, site, where we have lots of information about the Power Platform. And then I really encourage you to do it on your own. Um, go to powerapps.microsoft.com, create very similar like in this video, um, a very first Power App that connects to Excel, and then see the data um, come alive in this um, small application. With this, thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy. See you next time.